Hi there. Well, I decided to make this video because I'm using um, several Oxtro libraries and uh, uh, my favorite is Spitfire. And, but Spitfire, they don't have any solo instrument except some solo strings. So I'm still using my old East-West library, for example, if I want to do some solo strings, clarinet, oboe, just anything. And I, here I ran into a little problem because Spitfire is is it actually designed um, to be used with mod wheel, which controls multiple dynamics layers. So you know, so it does that, and and it's really perfect. You can add lots, you know, a good sense of realism. You can do like. So it's it's quite dynamic performance. You're just moving your mod wheel the way you know you feel or you feel how players gonna play it. So it helps a lot. Now, the other libraries like East West, which which I like, but you know it's less expressive. Um, and obviously you can you can uh, you can play applying different velocity uh, levels. You know, but it's not the same, especially for certain moments when you want your strings or woodwinds to kind of fade out a little bit, you know, and uh, and some time ago I was doing this. I would actually go to uh, a media editor. I'll go to media automation section, and I'll just you know pick expression, and with a pencil I would draw some you know expression lines like 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 so. I'll do like the na 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 na. Well, I'll just do it randomly. So now my east west will will have at least some dynamics. Well, at least something. It's not it's not perfect. It's not the same as speed fireworks, uh, but it, it's better. You know, especially when you have a, a huge workflow that's really uh, that's not the way to do it I mean with a pencil tool and it's really um, it's less intuitive so I was thinking how about what if we could assign a mod wheel on our controllers to control the expression so I'm gonna show you how to do that let me just get get rid of this all right let's go to environment window we need to go to click and ports. Okay, just browse through this menu, click and ports, and we'll have to create new object. That object will be transformer. As soon as we got transformer, connect the keyboard to transformer. So just pull the plug from here. And now from transformer, connect to sequencer. Alright, so keyboard's connected to transformer, transformer is connected to sequencer. Now double click on transformer and what do you want to do? You want to in the status window you want to put equal controller. So uh, so basically we're telling transformer to receive all the incoming uh, messages from our controller. So in channel, actually now we'll keep it we'll keep all channels uh, through all possible media channels. Now in, in, in data field we'll go equal one, which means the module because it's CC1, and here you put fix and 11. So that 11 is actually the um, CC11 is the expression. All right, uh, make sure you, you uh, uh, check in filter duplicate events, and um, you should be ready. So now let's close all this. I'll move my module. And in this window, you can see number 11. So it's actually receiving media messages from CC11, which is expression. Here we go. Again, I'll, I did it sort of a random, uh, but you can see what's happening. All right. so. 
Uh, it's almost a perfect solution. Well, while it's not perfect, uh, we're not creating um, kind of new dynamic layers, yet it's very helpful uh, in simulating a more realistic performance. Well, I hope it's going to help some of you. Uh, enjoy. Bye-bye.